Hello everyone, my name is Dorota and I would like to welcome you to our Versus Monday, the next episode of the series on our YouTube channel. And today I would like to discuss or compare uh, things that a Dewey diver would typically use, which are a little bit stiffer and a little bit heavier, to a more recreational style of fins, which are softer and a little bit lighter. You might have seen that Dewey divers are using this mostly black, big, stiff, rigid fins. And sometimes if I show up on the dive side with my fins, people are looking at me a little bit weird, almost having the question on their, you know, in their eyes, saying, where did you find those? They look like fins from the 70s or, you know, from the last century. And they in fact look a little bit like vintage fins where most of the recreational divers would use a little bit more cheerful fins, I would call them, because they are normally lighter, they are done from a little bit different materials, they are more colored and they have more variety in them. So I would like to discuss what are the benefits and disadvantages of both, and then leave you there with the decision of which types of fins you would like to be using. I would like to start with a story uh, when I personally decided that there is something wrong with my favorite fins, and for a very long time, my favorite fins have been Avanti Quattros, which are Maris fins. And for a very long time, I thought they are the best fins that we can ever have. Uh, but there was one dive that I did in Egypt, in Abu Nuhas, which is a very nice reef where you can find four wrecks in the same area. I was diving a very well-known wreck called Janis D, where they have, it has a very nice passage along, which is a little bit of overhead, but not really closed. And the passage is around one and a half meter wide and maybe one and a half meter tall or maybe two meter tall. And when I was trying to swim through it, every single time I did my kick and I was using a frog kick at the same time, at this time already, I noticed that the tips of the fins are hitting the walls. And I got a little bit frustrated and that thought that came to my mind is that, okay, I need to cut my fins because they do not allow me the uh, movement that I would like to have and the precision that I would like to have. So from this moment on, I investigated a little bit more, and in the end, I'm diving now as a Dewey diver, more stiff, more rigid, much shorter, and you could say a little bit broader fins. So now I would like to discuss a little bit of pros and cons on both. So the softer, less rigid fins that are mostly used by divers versus the fins that Dewey diver would be using that are a little bit heavier, they are a little bit stiffer, and they might require a little bit different techniques when you are finning. So let's discuss first the lighter fins, or the less stiff rigid fins, and let's talk about some positive aspects of them. So first of all, those fins usually are lighter. So they are super convenient to travel with because they will not add a lot of weight to your luggage. The second thing, because of this lightness, they require a little bit less effort when you are swimming because you will be moving less weight as you are moving your legs. The second thing that they are having as a positive is that they are softer, so they are a little bit more pliable. And to be honest, especially if you're at the beginning of your diver career, it might be a little bit easier thing to use because if you do not have the strength yet developed in your muscles, in the, in the muscles of your legs, or if you do not still yet have the technique, a softer fin might forgive some mistake and will give you still the same propulsion forward. The other thing which is related to softness, especially in the beginning, if you are not used to use those muscles as for using, when you are using the fins, is that it's, it gives a little bit less tension on your joints, like knees or feet. So this as well is a benefit. Because of these two features that they are softer, they are lighter, they are a little bit easier to use. And because of that softness, they normally would require a little bit bigger surface. So most of the time they are relatively longer compared to the other things that I will be describing later. The other benefit of them is that they are just so popular, everybody or most of the divers you will use those fins. They are coming with much more variety of sizes. So you can have super small, you can have extra large, you will have kit fins. So the variety of sizing and models is much bigger. That's why they are more easily available. So if you would travel to a dive site somewhere on a holiday, probably the first thing that you would be able to rent are fins like those. 
And the last thing on the positive side would be as well that you can use them without boots or without neoprene socks because they would come with a closed heel model. They of course come as well with the straps, but those fins are much more easier to use if you have bare feet or if you have softer boots or if you have a, a thinner neoprene socks. Now about cons of those fins. And finally enough, the same advantages, so lightness, softness and being longer, are as well the disadvantages of those fins from a certain perspective. So if the fin is lighter, you might have quite a challenge where you are a diver that is head heavy, which means that if you have a proper position, your head tends to sink. And most of the time, the divers have majority of the weight in the upper part of the torso, so most of the divers would be naturally more head heavy. And having lighter fins at the other end, which mean, it means on your feet, might make your legs too light and you might feel that they are too floaty. And it's especially important if you are diving a dry suit, because in a dry suit you might have some gas traveling into your boots and having really light fins is super inconvenient because you might really feel that the legs are pulling you up. So the lightness of these fins in that perspective is a little bit of a disadvantage. Um, the second thing that we discuss as an advantage is softness. So now let's talk about the con. So something that is negative about the softness of the fin. So they would be a little bit, um, they would not allow you for precision of movement. So if you would like to maneuver with those fins or if you would like to swim backwards, it will be a little bit harder because the fins are more pliable. They are reacting to the water a little bit more quicker and easier. So you would need to be really super precise if you are using those soft fins for maneuvering techniques. So this would be, from my perspective, a disadvantage. The other thing that comes with the softness is that if you are diving in a little bit more heavier conditions, if you have current on the surface, if you have waves, or if you are diving in a high flow cave, for instance, being a cave diver, the softness might not give you enough power to move forward or might not give you enough. So if you would like to react quickly or if you would like to swim quickly or against a water flow, either it's a current wave or a flow in the cave, those fins will be much harder to give you the power that you really need. So we did have the lightness, the softness, and now we come back to the length of the fins, which is as well related to their, that they are much harder to make precise movements. Because normally the tips of the fins will be a little bit more soft, so they will be a little bit more prone to react to any water, to any your feet movement, and they will react quicker than you expect and it's a little bit less controllable if you would like to make very precise movements like a backward kick. Let's talk now about uh, a type of fin that a Jewy diver would use, which are normally heavier, most of the time rubber fins that are much wider on the edges as well, that they are a little bit wider and shorter and definitely more rigid, so they are a little bit more stiff. So what would be the advantages of them? So first of all, again, is the weight, which means they are heavier. And this is an advantage because if you're a dry suit diver or if you're a person that has this head heaviness because of the equipment that you are using, heavier fins on the other end of your body, meaning your fins, uh, your feet, might balance you a little bit better. So for me, diving in a dry, dry suit, they have to be heavy because it really gives you the comfort that your feet will be fixed and stable and then you can maneuver them easily. The second thing uh, with uh, mm, uh, the weight is that they are in fact becoming part of your weighting system because they will be negative in the water. They might be around kilo, two kilos, depending on the fins negative. So they are becoming part of your weighting system as well. And they are conveniently located at the end of your body which allows you to balance the whole system a little bit better. So we have a benefit, they are heavier. The second benefit is that they are stiffer. Um, and the stiffness would allow to much more bigger precision on maneuvering techniques, on swimming backwards. This would allow as well for a much better acceleration if you need the power, because then they are stiffer, they will not be so pliable in the water, and when you move with that fin, 
It will be a little bit like driving a car with a 6V engine. If you really put the throttle down, the car just gets the power and you move. Of course, it comes with a disadvantage, but the disadvantage I will discuss a little bit later. As well, the stiffness allows for less movement range, which means that with less movement of your leg, you will achieve the same effect because they are a little bit more stiffer compared to the other ones. And the next benefit of those fins will be that they are shorter and it again leads into more maneuverability or more ease when you are moving your fins. Because if you imagine things, fins are a little bit like suddenly having extremely huge feet and you need to somehow maneuver them without looking at them because they are behind you. So the fins, if they are shorter and more rigid, they are a little bit easier to use from that perspective. The other benefit of those fins is as well that they have a very wide ridge, so the side of the fin is much taller, which allows as well an additional surface that you can use when you are maneuvering, especially if you are using a backward kick, because this additional surface that you have on the sides will increase the effectiveness of that kick in certain cases. Let's talk now about the disadvantages of the heavier fins. You might have a little bit of a feeling that I really do like them, and honestly, I really do, and I would not replace them for any other fins, but what are the disadvantages of those fins? So first of all, they are heavier. So the advantage of being heavier is as well a disadvantage depending on how you look at it. So first of all, because of the weight, they will require a little bit more effort when you swim, because you will need to move your leg, which will be heavier, and it will just require a little bit more power to do so. So if you are at the beginning of your diving career, you might really find those fins heavy to use and difficult to use. Related to that is as well that they will put a little bit more stress on your joints, especially knees and ankle joints. So as well, if you are not experienced in using fins, you might really find those fins that are stiffer and heavier quite uncomfortable to use even. The next thing is that they are not really very suitable for a wetsuit diving or diving without a wetsuit like with a rush guard or shorts because they will put a weight quite a lot of weight at the end of use on your feet so at the end and they might make your legs really heavy and sinking and then what usually happens is that you will compensate and try to bring the fins up using your lower back muscles and this can create a little bit of a lower back pain in the beginning if you are not used to it of course more weight means if you are traveling then you will need to take them with you and sometimes it's two maybe four kilos even of extra weight that you will need to check in which sometimes with you know airlines and having the excess uh, payments for luggage might be quite a big add-on to your luggage and unfortunately those fins they are not really very easy to rent in the places that do not have technical divers or they are not really Jewy friendly dive centers or because they are not really very popular and not all of the recreational divers would be aware of their existence even. And the next thing, what they have, because of the weight, they do sink quite quickly. So if you are unlucky and you drop your fin, and you're even more unlucky and there is no bottom under the boat, you might have to say goodbye to your fins. So you need to be aware that if you drop them, they really sink, sink like a stone and sink very quickly. The next disadvantage of those fins is the stiffness or rigidity. Uh, and especially for um, less trained, trained divers, it might bring a little bit of a challenge on how to move those fins because they are a little bit less forgiving because every move with that fin will move the water and it will move you as a diver. So you really need to be very precise when you use them on one hand. And it would require quite a lot of amount of uh, something that we call proprioception, which means the ability to imagine where your body is in space. Which means you need to understand what your feet are doing, how you are moving, because of their stiffness and rigidity, they will move you much more quicker. So you might find it, compare it to driving a very quick, you know, a very reactive sports car, where a small wheel movement will make the car really move. So you will need to get used to it as well. But from my perspective, to be honest, even if I'm talking about disadvantages, it's a very big advantage because it allows me for precision of movement. 
The next disadvantages for those fins is that most of the time they are much bigger and bulkier. So they will take up more space in your luggage when you travel again. So it's not only the weight, but it's as well the volume of space that they take in your luggage. Uh, most of the times you will not be able to use them without boots. So the additional thing that you need to have there are quite solid boots so that the heavy fins are fitting nicely on your feet. They have definitely less sizing available. So there is nothing like super extra small or there is definitely no kit fins of that type. So you would have sizing ranging from medium, large, extra large and maybe double extra large and that would be it. So the foot pocket is a little bit bigger as well. That's why most of the time you would need to have a little bit bulkier boots as well if you are using those types of fins. And, you know, one of the small disadvantages that many people will find nowadays a little bit, you know, unattractive is that most of the time, or historically, they came only in one color. Many people telling the true and only color, which is black. But you know what I have seen now on the market that you have, you can have those fins in a variety of colors, starting from pink, white, blue, camouflage and all of the other colors. So this disadvantage is kind of getting a little bit less, but with this colored fins, you will find them a little bit more softer because adding the color to the material of the fins make it a little bit more pliable compared to the black fins that are a little bit more rigid. I would like to give you a little bit of a warning now because there are some fins they look like the rigid stiff and heavy fins because they have the same shape but they are done from a different material and they are very light uh, and then I would just warn you about those if you would intend to use them with a dry suit because they would not bring you the benefit of having heavy uh, fins on your boots in a dry suit. And the other thing is that I have seen on the market as well the recreational fins that are extremely stiff and they feel a little bit like wooden boards connected to my legs and they put a lot of stress on your knees and on your feet. So before buying blindly on the internet I always like to have the fins in my head, hand because then I can evaluate the softness and I can evaluate the heaviness really. So which fins to choose? You probably already guessed what fins I would be choosing because I would be choosing the rigid fins, the heavier ones and the stiffer ones because they give me power, they give me acceleration, precision of movements. I treat them as my propellers. I can really do everything. I can move in all of the directions. I can go left, right, I can go backward, forward and I have the ability to really accelerate when I need, if there is an emergency or I swim against a very hard current. But all of those uh, advantages and disadvantages, because you can treat those things that I said now as a disadvantage because they would require more physical effort and they would require a little bit more precision and a little bit more time spent of learning how to have precise maneuvering techniques but these are things that I can decide and I can spend time learning and I would like to have the benefits of a heavy fin even if it comes with a little bit more time dedicated for training. And of course those fins they have the other big advantage for us Jewy divers who are most of the time diving in a dry suit is that they help with balancing the system especially if you dive with a dry suit where you will have addition, additional gas, so a little bit more positive buoyancy at the end of you, which means in the boots of a dry suit. For me as well, those fins, they would allow for the types of dives that Jewy divers are doing. So scientific diving, where you have to have really precise movements, you need to really manipulate yourself into, into certain areas where you collect samples. It will go for any exploration dives where you really potentially are diving in a harder conditions like more current on the surface, bigger waves, maybe are diving a high flow cave. So all of those types of dives would require from Jewy divers to have tools, these strong propellers that will move them into the direction that I want with the speed and power that they want. So do the recreational softer fins have any benefits? Of course they have. They are lighter, they are much better for divers who are at the beginning of their career potentially because they need to still develop the ability to move the legs in a certain way, they need to get a little bit more fitness, they need to get a little bit of muscle strength to potentially moving the heavy fins. They are available everywhere. They have some cool colors and designs. They have the sizing that would this fin more universal for everybody. So definitely they have benefits 
and if I would be using them, because sometimes I use them, especially if I'm diving in tropical waters when it's really warm and I'm using only rush guard and shorts, rarely, but still it happens, I would use those fins because they will be much easier to use because they will not put the extra stiffness and the extra heaviness that, you know, the rubber rigid fins would do. So now you heard my version of the story about fins. So maybe you have your own experiences. Maybe you have some different benefits and disadvantages of these types of fins. So if you have, please do share those in the comments below so our community can learn. If you have any questions, if you would like to have a little bit more detail on some of the aspects that we have been discussing, share those questions with us and we will try to make another video or we will just answer them in the comments. Uh, I hope you learned something from this video, this video on Versus Monday where we compared heavier, stiffer fins to more softer, more pliable fins that I use for most recreational dives around the globe. I hope to see you next time. And for now, thank you very much for tuning in and see you next time on Versus Monday.